Welcome, Patrick Chanery at btlarts.com. Going to do a portrait from beginning to end, not in one go, because it takes a little while. So I've got this old canvas, which I've just picked up, really old canvas. Now, if you can hear that, but it's, it's like a drum, isn't it? So it's nice and tight, ready to go, ready for. So I'll get it up on the easel and get it kind of straight, get the camera straight so we can see what's going on. And I'll go in closer when I get started. But um, yeah, so I haven't filmed any painting for a while because so I'm like working on a bigger project. And the bigger project is like the result of this internal like struggle and um, desire to create something completely different but for this exercise like i've really during this process you know been watching interviews about catherine hepburn and i found her completely engaging really powerful character and as i'm really sure on portraits of women i haven't really done that many um maybe because i find it more difficult i'm not really sure but um, I've chosen to do Catherine Hepburn. So, as usual, I'm going to set up my canvas from the centre of the canvas and start working with acrylics as an underpainting. Um, is the next. So, okay, I've set up my uh, canvas. I work from the centre, so I work from the centre of the image. I've got a black and white photo which I quite often like to work from black and white photos. And then I pick up the colouring like later on. I'm after trying to get a naturalistic painting of Catherine Hepburn as opposed to, obviously, most of the photographs of her are in, as in her work as an actress. So that's part of the challenge in doing it. Um, so I start with the black and white because I just want a position. And the position is kind of a pose, but I hope later on with the oil to sort of get into the character of, of this one for a lady. Um, so it could take a while. And I'll just do it in short videos um, to show how we go. So we're coming a bit closer to the canvas. You can't quite see the bottom of the canvas, but that's okay at the moment. And already you can see it's quite deceptive where the middle is. That's why I mark it. I don't kind of guess it because everywhere you look at it, it seems to be different with you. So you can see it. You might just see it. Oh, right. Here we go. Yeah, there's a share. So the shares, so that's the picture I'm using. As you see, black and white. It's a nice slight angle and you know who it is. So So I'll be looking at the screen with the image on and you can just watch what I'm doing. So on the image I've sort of worked out where the center point is. And also, I've, I've sort of got a desire to put a slightly off, slightly off centre. So I'm just going to rush, not rush, I'm just going to do the painting at speed because I find it's more, it turns out to be more accurate. So, really, what I'm just trying to do is get some sort of placement, some sort of placement of some. Uh, so I've got the water hanging on the easel. I'm just going to use raw rumber. Um, and also, this canvas is nice and tight. It's a very old canvas, probably 30 or 40 years old, which is kind of quite interesting. So I'm just looking. Making marks, making dark marks. There's a lot of um, light 
in the picture just spread some it's more like I'm priming the canvas in a sense just getting used to the image just getting used to where some of the things might be like quite quickly actually our senses are incredibly accurate if we let, allow ourselves to trust them we don't need to hesitate everything's going to change i never most of my paintings just develop so much from there but these initial marks is my first desire to make a relationship with uh, the subject Catherine Hepburn. Uh, what's wonderful about these photo shoot type pictures is they've always got beautiful sh shots of the eyes. It's incredibly skilled photography. So this is probably that's the photographs probably as old as I am. Um, so we'll. I'm not trying to copy the photo. I don't do photo realistic or anything. All I'm trying to do is get the character of Catherine Hepburn uh, and, and start to play around with where where the shapes may be, where the just a, just a bit of a to dance really. Burnt umber, it's it's a um, really good colour just to sketch with. So she's, yeah, so I'm just trying to work out. Then what I'll do is probably crop the picture again, um, the photo that I'm using, and then start to research some more photographs so that I can mix and match. I want to keep quite a lot of light in here so that I can accentuate this dark and light. It's uh, going to show off of her um, pictures. Uh, as I say, a really inspiring um, person. Uh, it's getting this femininity of the features it's amazing what you can do uh, quite quickly if you just let yourself believe that you can do it you just look at dance and look at a dance look at a dance and uh start to move things around get some sort of idea where things could be not worrying about detail particularly. It's a great canvas, it's um, like I say, it's been waiting to be painted on for a long time, a long long time, it's not mine, it, it is now, <laughs> but um, it's great too. And when it plays it's like playing a drum as I dance and hit it for the first time and get some paint on that playing the drum it's got music coming out of it as well so there's something starting to shape up here this is definite uh, Uh, yeah, it's always the mouth. It's so normally, you know, when I haven't got the camera on, I have the, the easel facing a bit away, and I move backwards and forwards to have a look. But for the sake of just getting somewhere quite quickly, as you can see, that. There's something in probably 10 or 12 minutes you've got something to work from. So I can start to look at this now and start to think where I want to go with it. 
already. Yeah, exactly. So I start to look at the marks I've made, let them dry, and start to add some more colours. So there you are, that's the video number one. There's video number one of this portrait. Yes, you can see the marks. So now what I'll do is replace my easel, let it settle down, let that dry off a little bit, which is really quick with the acrylics. That's why it's quite good to start with them. Then approach it with some more, uh, like some tones that are still doing acrylic and find tighten it up so i've got by the time i finish the acrylic um underpainting i want it to be quite clear that it's catherine hepburn's uh portrait so there we have it that's the first step completed thanks very much